I lived in Warrnambool as a child, went to Jamison Street Primary for a few years and then holidayed in Port Ferry for decades. And you know what? I actually didn't like coming to Warrnambool because I found it so hard to walk around. It was just so car dominated that I didn't feel safe. And I didn't want to hang around. Um, and this is a massive change. It feels like Warrnambool now wants to park people. They want people to stay and I certainly um, like being here and I want to stay. I want to hang around. I actually want to spend money. I'm going shopping. It's fantastic. What I've noticed in Warrnambool and other cities that have done similar changes is it changes the way walkers and drivers interact. When I cross on the zebras, there's a lot of waving from people, walkers and other drivers. It's just more friendly. I feel like there's a there's an acknowledgement of each other that wasn't there before. There's a lot of research from around the world that shows people who walk or cycle to their local shops go more frequently, stay longer and spend more money over a period of time than those who drive. So creating walkable communities is really important to creating economically sustainable and strong businesses. Uh, we know the falls in the street is a major concern for older walkers, so having really flat, even services, taking away the gutters where we can is really important to reduce the chance of slipping and falling, which can have major impacts for particularly elder, elderly people. What Warrnambool's done is really very impressive, but you're not alone. You know, there's not just cities around the world, but around the country are doing similar things. In regional Victoria, Bendigo's been doing very similar things. Canberra, in the capital of Canberra and Bunda Street, have done something very similar to what's happening in Lubbock Street, creating streets for people. Walking is the most accessible exercise. Um, we need to get particularly older people, we need to get them physically active and walking so they can stay active and participate in their communities for as long as possible. Walking also reduces the incidence of uh, diseases like heart disease, diabetes um, and a lot of uh, illnesses created by being overweight. So walking is the most accessible um, activity across the population. We know in Victoria about 30% of people don't have a driver license so we need to create more walkable communities and that's what's happening in Warrnambool which is great. Walking is accessible across the population for all age groups and that's really important. In Warrnambool has an abundance of car parking and it's great because they're actually behind the shops and we have laneways that connect them. I think encourage people just to go there and park and get out and walk. You don't need to find a park outside the front of the shop you want to go to unless you have a disability. So really, park behind, park further away, get a shopping jeep and just walk. Warrnambool is a gorgeous place for walking. Enjoy it, love it, it's fantastic.